<coughs> okay, I, I feel I gotta show how how you can do why debugging in closure and perhaps in, in lisps, lisps in general uh, is pretty darn awesome. I mean, okay, so say you have a kind of a messy complex thing here, you're trying to make it simpler, of course, uh, and uh, uh, and uh, yeah, so you have some debug statements here and there, and it's running. And uh, I've slowed it down here so I can actually see sort of what's going on without things going completely insane. Uh, but okay, so why is this so interesting? It's it's just a bunch of debug statements. I, I, I print out a table of the trade tra uh, trader and the trade trade object. Well, it's not really that interesting in many ways. Uh, what I the only thing I really wanted to show was that this is a completely normal function call, right? It's actually called by some sort of internal function called by this one, right? So, but what you can do in 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 in, in, in closure is that's okay. Say you you're seeing some orders here, right? You're seeing some orders here, so that's part of the the trade printout is here. So that's sort of a the general fields that that's sort of a, what is that that's a, a resulting entry and exit of the trade like what happened uh, and this is the orders what we are trying to do right <clears throat> okay this thing is buggy right now so, so the numbers and stuff are probably wrong but it doesn't matter and it's running right so you have you have set up some context and it's running and you're very excited and <clears throat> but then you realize oh god i forgot I wanted to also see the symbol of the. Let's see. That's that's the what we're printing out here is the order of objects, right? So, whoops. So that's that's like uh, this object. It's it's a part of a trade object. It's it's an it's a comp. What's it called? Not aggregate, but composite of. <coughs> so it's a member of. So yeah, you want to see the symbol too. You, you can't see that here. You just see some num some prices stuff and uh, the type and stuff. So the, okay, but, but, but so we added that here and I press F9 on my keyboard and it compiles like there. And uh, there you have it. Instantly the symbol is now visible on the, on the so when I print out the trade. It shows the the orders of that trade and uh, you can see the symbol. So ah okay, I know. Uh, that looks correct. It, it's nice to be able to toggle these things on and off because if I just let it print out the entire order object, it's, it, it can get kind of big, you know, and uh, and uh, I don't have, uh, I'm on a laptop, right, so I don't have unlimited screen space, which is kind of annoying. Uh, uh, generally, I don't care about the symbol because that's usually correct anyway. So I'll get that back. Now, isn't that amazing? I mean, this this thing, I can change any function in the system and it'll just, it'll just work like that. I can change it at runtime, it'll just work. It can be a web server, whatever. It's amazingly good. It's way better than any debugging tool I've ever encountered. Though, if you're stuck with some memory leak or resource leak or whatever, the Eclipse uh, memory analyzer is fantastic, of course, but that's a different kind of thing, right? It's a totally different kind of thing. Now, you might imagine that how can this possibly work? It, this is a, like a plain old low level function call, right? It takes an object and it returns it again. And uh, you, after printing out some text, right? Uh, well, well, it works by indirection, of course. The, 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 the functions calls are never direct there. And then you can much say, oh, holy shit, that, that, that's got to get pretty slow, right? What the hell? Everything's like uh, we are one step in direction here. <clears throat> well, and you'd be right. Now, though, I'm pretty sure that JIT can uh, compile away a lot of this stuff. But uh, the way I deal with it is that normally I... I, I, I uh, I mean, this what I, what you're seeing here is the default setup of Clojure. This is the way Clojure and most lists work by default, by the, using this kind of interaction, right? But normally, 
since I'm writing something that actually has to run <laughs> quite fast, um, at least when I backtest uh, during the simulation, then then I set this to true, which is which means that then the function call is is direct. There's no indirection anymore. So if if I st restarted the project and recompile this and uh, <clears throat> and then started uh, running it again and then and then I tried to change the code here and, uh, and recompile it well then 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 this would this would not uh, work anymore uh, so anyway false is the is the default here so that means that what I just showed you did this is the default enclosure which is pretty nice you know it's uh, I don't know I wanted to show you show you this just quickly it's, Maybe this is so obvious to many people who have kind of briefly touched closure or whatever, and uh, you know, pretty much, you know, Lisp one it runs on the JVM now, uh, and it's called closure, and uh, you have access to full object inspection at at runtime via various debuggers. You have full interactive development um, environment everything's available to you and yes i, I honestly think the, the jvm from oracle is sort of a joke <laughs> uh, because if you take a look at something called open j9 which i sort of uh, made a little video about uh, earlier i mean it, it had a release two days three days ago I mean the amount of work being done there is amazing and, and, and it's like so slim and so nice uh, like 60% less memory use uh, instantly uh, pretty much the same performance uh, uh, when it gets hot which it does quite faster than the uh, Oracle uh, JVM just mind-blowingly good. So make sure you check that out, that out for sure. Um, uh, wow, um, things are things are really happening. I, I'm really excited about this. I don't I don't, I don't know what to say. I wanted to just show this debugging thing because I've been fiddling with this for a while now and a little bit frustrated. And it's just nice to 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 to, to realize again and again that I can actually debug like this. It's just very nice it's just really really nice what a cool thing you know uh, and uh, and uh, it's not it's not like a web page that just re reloads you know it doesn't do that like it reloads the code and it runs it again and again every time you change it that's not what's going on there this is continuously running you understand right so this is continuously running. It, 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 there's no, there's no reload of a page. So what's so special about this? I just reload my page, and, and, and then uh, all the changes are happen anyway. No, no. This is this is like uh, you have a web page uh, with a game in it, and uh, it's maybe it's a car racing game, and uh, you know, you're fiddling around with the cars, and they are driving, maybe are self-driving cars or whatever, and you're changing the code uh, at while the thing is running and you see the changes instantly right it's just it's just very cool and uh and uh it gets compiled when i press f9 up here it's compiled instantly uh and it gets further compiled as it ru runs it's uh this this open j9 is very good with the uh, mixing both uh ahead of time compiling and uh, uh, just in time compiling in in, in very interesting ways uh, have using some caching of the sort of class results and stuff it's it's very interesting uh, yeah I don't, I don't know what more to say about this uh, I should actually start to I was debugging this thing yesterday and I like added some, and I wanted to show this. It's just so cool, guys. It's just so cool. Amazing. Okay, I think that's enough for this really pointless rambling video. Bye.